Hello, I'm Dr. Sarfraz Zaidi. I'm an endocrinologist. I've been using uh, Armour Thyroid, Nature Thyroid, WP Thyroid, NP Thyroid, and other forms of T3, T4 combination therapies in my patients with hypothyroidism for the past 20 years. So I must have treated a couple of thousand patients uh, with this combination therapy. And uh, I find this combination therapy to be a whole lot more effective than uh, levothyroxine alone. And based on my findings, I've actually written a book and uh, it's called Hypothyroidism and Hashimoto Thyroiditis, uh, which is available at Amazon. So today I'm gonna share with you uh, my own uh, uh, philosophy as well as my own practice uh, of uh, treating hypothyroid patients. And as I said, most of my hypothyroid patients uh, have been on T4 and T3 combination therapy. As you are probably aware uh, that uh, some forms of desiccated thyroid WP thyroid, nature thyroid, and NP thyroid uh, has been recalled by their manufacturers over the past one month or so. So I'm gonna do this uh, video uh, to explain to you what really was the reason behind this recall, as well as what are your alternatives. Uh, you might have been on one of these uh, medications and uh, I will sh uh, share with you uh, what are your alternatives. So as of September 3rd, 2020, uh, RLC voluntarily recalled some lots of WP thyroid and nature thyroid. As of September 17, 2020, Acela Pharmaceutical voluntarily recalled one lot of 15 mg and one lot of 120 mg of NP thyroid. So these are practically the same product and uh, they contain T4 and T3. These are basically various forms of desiccated thyroid. So what's the reason for this uh, recall of uh, nature thyroid, WP thyroid and NP thyroid? Well, basically FDA, they do their routine testing on some of the lots of these um, all medications. And uh, while they were, they did their uh, routine testing on uh, some of the lots of uh, these products, they found that some lots did not contain 100% of the uh, labeled amount. Instead of 100%, they contain 87% of the labeled amount on that product. So what does that mean? That means that the amount of T4 or T3 was slightly lower than uh, what was expected. And uh, that's all. Uh, but even a small amount of uh, uh, decrease in the uh, T4 or T3 level uh, can uh, uh, affect your treatment of hypothyroidism so for that reason, uh, uh, both of these manufacturers, uh, they decided to recall uh, these products. So what are your choices uh, uh, now that uh, these uh, three products have been recalled? Well, your choice number one, switch to another brand of desiccated thyroid. As I said earlier, NP thyroid, uh, nature thyroid, WP thyroid. These are basically different brand names. They contain the same product called desiccated thyroid. Guess what? There's another product called Armour Thyroid that contains uh, the same uh, desiccated thyroid. And so you can easily switch over to Armour Thyroid. So your choice number two is to switch over to a compounding pharmacy. And I've done that over the years for a lot of my patients uh, for a variety of reasons. So uh, your physician have to uh, prescribe uh, exact amount of T4 and T3 per capsule. And then you take that uh, prescription to a pharmacist. 
uh, obviously your physician has to be very knowledgeable about uh, T4 and T3 in order to write the proper prescription. For example, one grain of uh, any desiccated thyroid, uh, whether that be NP thyroid, uh, nature thyroid, WP thyroid, or armor thyroid, they contain about 38 microgram of T4 and about 9 microgram of T3. So uh, the good side uh, of writing prescription for uh, compounding pharmacy is uh, that uh, I'm able to uh, fine tune the amount of T4 and T3 that a patient needs. Some patients are very sensitive to even one microgram adjustment in T4 or T3. But the downside uh, of compounding pharmacy is that they are number one expensive and number two, you have to find a good reputable uh, pharmacy in your area. So your choice number three is that you can switch to synthetic T4 and synthetic T3. Now synthetic T4 is called levothyroxine. It comes uh, under the brand names of uh, Synthroid, Levoxyl, uh, same way T3, generic name is uh, Liothyronine and it comes as uh, cytomel as a brand name. Now, uh, your physician can switch you over to combination of uh, levoxyl or levothyroxine, the generic name, and liothyronine, T4 and T3. However, your physician has to be very knowledgeable about T4 and T3 as we discussed earlier. Uh, Unfortunately, what happens that uh, physicians, uh, they are comfortable uh, writing a prescription for T4, levothyroxine, but they are not very comfortable writing prescription for T3. So generally what they will do, and T3, by the way, cytomel is available only as uh, 5 microgram, and then the next dose is 25 microgram. So uh, generally, uh, physicians will write a large dose of uh, levothyroxine and a small dose of uh, cytomel or uh, T3. Uh, typically, 100 microgram of uh, levothyroxine and 5 microgram of cytomel. Now, as you can see, uh, in this example, uh, the ratio of T4 to T3 is uh, 20 to 1. Whereas in nature thyroid, uh, armor thyroid, WP thyroid, and all of these desiccated thyroid preparation, the ratio of T4 to T3, uh, T4 to T3 is 4 to 1. So now you can see uh, that uh, if uh, your physician is not very knowledgeable about this T4, T3 combination, uh, then you can be on a large dose of T4 and a very small dose of T3. And with that, what happens, uh, patients usually uh, develop symptoms of hypothyroidism. And then a uh, patient as well as physician may think that, oh, this combination of T4 and T3 is not working. And then generally they just switch them over to uh, T4 alone, like uh, levothyroxine alone therapy and then patient continue to suffer from symptoms of hypothyroidism. So just remember that uh, you need a physician who is very knowledgeable about this T4 and T3 combination, and the ratio between T4 and T3 in all desiccated thyroid preparation is four to one. Another practical tip is uh, that while you uh, switch from uh, one preparation of thyroid uh, hormone to another preparation, you should always monitor your symptoms as well as your uh, thyroid function test very closely because uh, you may need a slight adjustment in the dose of your thyroid medication. The treatment of uh, hypothyroidism, especially due to Hashimoto thyroiditis, uh, should go beyond just uh, prescribing uh, T3, T4, desiccated thyroid because it's a whole lot more complex uh, disease. Uh, over the uh, last 20 years or so, I have developed uh, a wonderful holistic uh, approach to treat any disease, including hypothyroidism and Hashimoto thyroiditis. 
and I call it SNAVM, which is acronym for S for stress management, N for nutrition, E for exercise, rest, sleep, V for vitamins, M for medications, if and when necessary. And I've seen wonderful results in my patients uh, when I employed this uh, technique. And uh, for that reason, I've written this book. It's called uh, Hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's Thyroiditis. And it is available at Amazon.com. Uh, please take a look at it.